Hello, today we have Mark White, CEO of Nexelin Technology, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker NXL. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you, it's good to be here. Now Mark, Nexelin is commercializing its innovative treatment method for neurological illnesses. Let's start with a broad overview of your business. Okay, let's, let's talk about neurological illnesses. What we're talking about is mental health. Everyone listening to this call knows somebody struggling with some type of a challenge related to quality of life, whether it's children for attention and behavior, parents, dementia, or everyone in, in between would be anxiety, depression, insomnia. There's, there's not only a national, but a global mental health epidemic. Currently, the only treatment options for the patients is medication with side effects and other types of risk issues associated with medication or talk therapy. And what Nexelin is in the business of is using a non-invasive, neurostimulator, which applies a frequency through the forehead and behind each ear, and it literally talks to the brain in its native language. It's completely undetectable to the human body. It is so powerful that it can reduce the symptoms of the primary mood disorders by as much as 80% within a two to four week period. So we're in the neurostimulation business. So we stimulate neurons in a positive way it's non-medication, non-invasive, and a 40-minute treatment over a 15 to 20 treatment profile. And that's basically what Nexelin Technology is in the business of. Mark, you've identified a $94 billion addressable market. Could you elaborate on the factors driving this large market potential and how Nexelin is positioned to capitalize on it? Okay, well, so we just talked about everyone knows somebody, so whether it's anxiety, depression, insomnia, substance use, AKA addiction, uh, chronic pain, or TBI. Basically, if you look at the size of those markets, you'll get a 90 to $120 billion industry that currently, as I mentioned earlier, the only treatment option is medication and or talk therapy. And this is where Nexelin steps in with this state-of-the-art digital treatment that's very efficacious, meaning that the response is very positive from the patient, safe, and risk-free. Now, Mark, recent clinical trials have shown promising results for Nexelin's technologies. Could you share some insights on those findings and their significance for your future commercialization? Okay, first let's focus on the clinicals themselves. So our primary area of interest has been in the primary mood disorders. So depression, anxiety, and addiction is, the, is where we've uh, published um, there's a total of nine papers that have been published in the last 18 to 24 months in the primary mood disorders that I mentioned. And then the, uh, there's two or three papers that are focused on the mechanism of action. That's a, that's a scientific way of saying, why does this work? Um, we, we want to prove beyond the fact that it works. We want to prove how it works. And that really drives the ability to commercialize the technology because this type of neurostimulation technique is somewhat new to the medical community. And rather than dealing with some of the traditional challenges when, you, if, when you're in competition, if you will, with the medication model, we wanna take the, we wanna raise the bar on the science. And when you raise the bar, you can actually associate symptom response. In other words, I feel better after treatment. And then you can correlate that with some imaging of the brain that shows the, the illness in the brain pre and post being resolved, you have a scientific model that answers all questions, concerns, or anyone challenging the legitimacy of the science or the technology. So that's the most important part when you're actually stepping into the mainstream psychiatric model. And this is why our focus continues to be uh, clinical evidence, not only in the United States, but also outside of the United States, so that we're building a strong, robust body of evidence for the scientific community. Now, Mark, tell us more about that virtual clinic model that Nexelin is introducing. This is an at-home treatment system, and how does it benefit patients and healthcare providers? Okay, so when we do our research, the, the first major piece of information that we are focused on was understanding that 70% of every adult in the United States of America that qualifies for a mental health diagnosis will never seek treatment because of the issues I've already said, 
primarily medication side effects and talk therapy, the only options. So we know that actual um, access to the patient population is number one. Number two, access to quality psychiatric care is very limited in this country. So if you're able to address access to the treatment, you're also able to deal with the stigma uh, because that's another big challenge for a lot of patients is they don't want to go to the psychiatrist. They don't want to drive to a clinic. They would much prefer to be in the privacy of their own home. So when we talk about a virtual clinic, clinic is the key word here. Just imagine that instead of getting in the car, going to the psychiatrist, getting your mental health evaluation, you're now able in the privacy of your own home, through the privacy of your phone, laptop, or desktop computer, you can sign in like a telehealth platform, except it's a little more intensive than that. You go through a complete evaluation in the privacy of your home. In that moment, the physician will offer you the treatment of an excellent technology. He will prescribe it because this is a medical technology. This is not a consumer device that you can buy on the internet. This must go through a medical professional. So in the virtual clinic, you're able to receive your diagnosis virtually through the telehealth platform. The doctor is able to prescribe and then issue an order to ship the device to your home. You receive the headset at home. You download the app on your phone. You put in your patient profile number. The, the basically digital technology takes it from there. Your pro protocol for treatment is downloaded from the cloud into the headset. It's all coordinated through the app. We're able to monitor patient response, symptom response, safety, side effects, if any. And again, it's a side effect free treatment, but in the, in the world of data, you wanna collect as much positive data as you possibly can for the patient's experience. And that is all done in a virtual experience and can be managed and monitored through the portals that the physician has access to, the patient, and then the technology company that coordinates the shipment of the device. Mark, those are some very attractive ideas, and as we've already discussed, it's a gigantic market. How do you make money? Okay, so we have a clinical device and we have a headset device, if you will, the, the device that will be administered through the virtual clinic. So on the, the clinical device, we sell our device, our technology to the doctor, and we also provide a single-use set of disposable electrodes. So we put a small pad on the forehead, a small pad behind each ear. It has a small cord that hooks up to a clinical device. So we sell the device and we sell the single use disposable electrodes. Think of the razor blade model, all right? So we have a recurring revenue stream for each treatment for each set of electrodes that's used. Once the patient has been cleared for the virtual clinic, you sell the device to the consumer and then the consumer pays a small monthly subscription fee. The doctor is paid through the um, reimbursement for the traditional evaluation, et cetera. So your doctor gets paid, the patient pays for the headset, and then the patient pays for a monthly subscription fee to use the device. Both models have the recurring revenue stream similar to the razor blade model. Mark, sum it up for our viewers. Why should investors take an interest in Nexalyn right now? Okay, we know we've got a problem. We got a big problem and it's only gonna get worse. And we know that medication is solving about 20 to 30% of the problem. So 70% of the population struggling with some type of a mood disorder is going to be looking and searching for some type of a treatment that is safe and effective, that they have access to, that they won't have to deal with a psychiatrist in a psychiatric setting. And this is specifically what Nexlin Technology is all about. We have the treatment. It's a frequency-based neurostimulator. It is completely undetectable to the human body. It has a close to 80% efficacy response in the mood disorders that we've mentioned on this call. And finally, the access is now through a virtual clinic. So whether you live 300 miles from your nearest metropolitan area or you live right in the suburbia area, does not matter. Everything can be now done through the privacy of a virtual clinic in a telehealth setting in the privacy of your home, safe, risk-free, highly efficacious. It's the future of mental health treatment. This is digital health. And we all know we are all experiencing digital health experiences in all of our current healthcare um, 
uh, treatment models and experiences at the doctor's office. We just never really paid attention to it. Well, we're starting to understand that the future of medicine and healthcare is going to be in digital health and a digital treatment that's safe and effective. And that's specifically what we built an excellent technology to, to provide. I like the memorable way you put it, Mark. It's the future. Thank you for telling your story today. Thank you.